Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Long Island Matchmaker Show. I'm Lauren DeFranco here with the beautiful Maureen Tara Nelson, Long Island's only executive level certified matchmaker in the business of finding love for 20 years. Happy New Year, Maureen. Happy New Year. Thanks for listening, everyone. And thank you so much for calling in and asking us so many questions every week. It's amazing. questions and May I say, Lauren looks absolutely stunning. Is that a Chanel top? No, it's actually Zara, but it's... Wow. I it think is, it's a copy of a Gucci or something, but it is Zara. I It'll, thought it was Full Chanel. disclosure. It is absolutely stunning. Thank you. I want it. Thank you. And I'm going to look up the website and buy it. Zara because, has the best stuff, by yes. the way. They have the best stuff. I am such a big copycat. But we have very exciting news today because everyone knows by now, MTN Matchmaking is a family business, mm-hmm. right? Of course. So... There is someone in the business at MTN Matchmaking who is 10 years old, who goes by the name of Little MTN. Her name is Destiny, and she's here with us today in the KJOY studio. Now, Destiny is adorable. You can't see her, but we'll put her on social media. Oh, yes. Maybe. Absolutely. And she is just a doll face. Yes. <laughs> I just love, I'm so honored that she has been my so-called assistant for years. She's she, learning the business yes. and she's an up-and-comer rising matchmaker. I, I don't know if that's what she wants to be. But. for a little MTN to take over MTN matchmaking one day. And I have paid her many times, right? She would come into the office and be my assistant. Uh-huh. So, so happy she's here with us at the radio and show. And get this, her name is Destiny. <laughs> Love love her name, but I love little MTN better. But of course. So some of the questions this week, little MTN will just close her ears. We're gonna to, have her cover her ears for <laughs> some of the things, but we keep it clean here because, yes. you know, K Joy, we're on well, K Joy, we're we on really terrestrial have radio. No choice. We can't be all sorts of crazy here. But um Maureen, how how did your New Year's go? And I wanna know, um Crazy busy work, work, work. I know a a lot of people have been calling in, and we need you to call in more because a lot of people are worried that they're going to go into Valentine's Day and they're not going to find love. And a lot of people are starting to try to keep their New Year's resolutions. And what do you say to these men who call you and say, what do I do, Maureen? Tell, Tell us what you say to them. Well, first of all, guys, it is the easiest time now to find love. So if you are a guy listening to this, call us because We work together in finding you love so that it's fun and you don't have to go through the nonsense that you have to go through on your own. And there are a lot of questions that people have written in this week. Most of them, have you noticed, Lauren, are from men? Oh, yeah. I love that. Well, because I know it's really hard right now because you're working nine to five, probably way more than nine to five, eight to seven in some cases. I work till midnight. No, not you. I'm saying most men. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) I'm not trying to be sexist because a lot of women work eight to seven, eight to 12 (laughs) or whatever the case may be. But you don't have time to go on the Internet and deal with all this BS out there that people are catfishing you and pretending to be something they're not. I've just heard the craziest stories lately. But again, you just don't have to worry about that. So I always recommend that, guys, just try to put your best foot forward. Be yourself. I'm never going to try to change someone, but we can all up our game with everything in life. This is why I have a trainer now. Mm -hmm. I have a diet doctor now Mm -hmm. because of my back surgery. I, you know, I have to get back into shape. So, you know, it's just, it's what you do. If you want to be the best at something and you want it to be easy, you hire someone to help you. But the purpose of the radio show is so that we can answer these great questions and hopefully you'll learn something. Well, and and, um, I must say Maureen has been putting me through boot camp and I'm learning so much about myself (laughs) and how terrible I am at relationships. Oh my God. What a sport. (laughs) Anyone else would hate me, okay? (laughs) Hate me. Lauren is the best because I... Just say everything from the heart, and I know that Lauren is 
stunningly beautiful. Oh, so thank you. That's we'll cool. put her picture up just in case someone <laughs> doesn't know what you look like. But I'm sure the fact that she is a reporter on an ABC for many former, years. Former. Former. But still, for many years, ABC, everyone already knows you. But she, I am so blessed, does this radio show, Long Island Matchmaker, with me. And it's my pleasure. She. And privilege. She's Beautiful, smart, sexy. Mm -hmm. She really should be having men calling her up constantly asking her out for dates. <laughs> and she should be in a relationship right now. But there are certain things that my beautiful friend over here <laughs> does that she self-sabotages and she has admitted it. So we are going to actually have a boot camp. Mm -hmm. in March. And it, it really is a tremendous help because I was listening to a show today and they were talking about this, that um, when is it the point where someone has so many failed relationships where they say to themselves, it's not that person. <laughs> I guess hmm, it might be me. Um, you know, like they say, oh, that guy's a jerk. That guy's a jerk. That right. guy's a jerk. That guy's a jerk. Well, well, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm not speaking about I myself. I love that scenario. <laughs> but with Lauren, I am sure that most people make these most common mistakes. Mm -hmm. And it is just being overly picky. Now, look, anyone else would hate me for saying that. But I'm so blessed that Lauren is okay with me saying it. Because does she deserve perfection? Yes. However... In reality, none of us are perfect. Mm -hmm. So we all single people, you just have to compromise and find someone that is perfect for you. Right. And Maureen's taught me and women out there, if you do this, you really have to give people a chance and you can't, yep. Yep. you cannot base the entire uh, opinion on looks because... Yes. Looks are important and chemistry is important, but Maureen's yep. taught me that compatibility yep. is also very important. Well, it's because looks is chemistry. Mm -hmm. That's easy. It's so much easier than people think. If you just give someone enough chances and you're compatible already, you will see that chemistry does grow. But the thing that people don't realize is compatibility that is the hardest thing to find so right you have to have many levels of yeah connection right right but if you go out and you do the things that you enjoy doing then it's easier to find someone with common interests if or you call you, MTN matchmaking oh, and Maureen will yes, find but, you the person who likes to do the things that well, you like yeah. to do well clearly and obviously but for radio show purposes, we want everyone to be able to find love on their own as easy and as safely as possible. So number one, I just have to say, always be safe because there are people out there, unfortunately, that are scammers, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Many of whom are well, on the internet. Yes. Oh, I want to say one thing. Yeah. I saw you oh, well, on Good well, Day New York oh, and you were amazing. And they asked you. you a question that I think a lot of people want to know is... Mm -hmm. In these days of pandemic fear, mm -hmm. now we have the Omicron, or right. however you pronounce that. Right. Um, yeah, Omicron, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have an oh. N in it, by the way. It's Omicron. Oh, really? Even though I think they've renamed it because so many people <laughs> call it Omicron. Right. <laughs> but anyway. Um, um, please they... <laughs> remind me to tell you the best story about my oldest client when it comes to that. Remind okay. me. Go ahead. So they asked you, is it okay to kiss on the first date? And are people asking for vaccination cards? Are they asking for negative tests? What's going on with that now? Okay. It's such a controversial subject. I'm not here to preach, but I will tell you in my experience, if you're vaccinated, you will have a much greater chance mm -hmm. of having someone say, oh, Wow, you're safe to be with or safer to be with. And I don't know about you, but I'd love to be able to kiss on the first date. Absolutely. The, I mean, if, if the person is yes, attractive. If you're attracted to someone, <laughs> kiss on a first date is just so thrilling. 
but do you really want to have that kiss of your thinking in the back of your head? That they might have COVID. She's (laughs) coughing like crazy. She's bragging that she's got a fake ID card. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. That could be a deal breaker. I'm not kissing her. So, I mean, so look, just you have to be safe. You have to be smart about it. But as I said on Channel 5, Mm -hmm. yes, you can. Fox 5 New York. Yes. um, You can kiss on the first date, if you both feel safe. Mm-hmm. I'll just leave it like that. And um, so let's get to some of the questions. Yeah, because um, there are a lot. And yeah. I think it's because of New Year's resolutions, people are calling up saying, okay, you know what? I uh, I didn't want to date during the holidays, mm-hmm. but Too holidays depressing. are over. So now is the time to find someone. And guys, if you're listening, call us. And it's like because. people go to the gym after the new yep. year, but this is something you got to stick with. You can't just go to get on the treadmill for one day, <laughs> right? All right. So is it too cliche to make finding love my New Year's resolution? Oh, wow. That was a perfect segue <laughs> into that. Well, this is I what we do here. I don't know if you've planned that or not, but I'm awfully <laughs> impressed. Um, it's not cliche at all, because I think all of us that have the pandemic 15 at the very least are using the New Year's as a way to get into better shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's normal and it's healthy and it's a great idea. It is the same thing when you're looking for love because again, the holidays are over. When you do try to find love right before the holiday season, it does cause extra stress. Now, does that mean... It can't be done. Of course not. I have so many success stories Mm -hmm. that are on hold now. Just don't put pressure on yourself. met early December, and they're on hold already. Mm -hmm. Now, then there are some people that said to me, you know, I really don't want to meet someone right before the holidays. And now they're coming off of hold Uh because now they're ready. The first thing I do say to them is, just so you know, there are people that weren't afraid they took my advice. They did try dating before the holidays, and they're on hold with someone already. And I never say that in a derogatory sense. I'm saying it in a motivating sense because I'm a big believer in never wasting time. Right, right. I always say tick tock, tick tock. You know, <laughs> that's funny. I like that. <laughs> um, but you know. Don't take advice from me <laughs> because I'm taking advice from Maureen. That's and who I'm taking advice from. She is going to do from. great in my boot camp. So if you're interested in our boot camp, let us know. And we're going to divulge all the uh, yes, re- revelations. Yep. All right. So how can I tell if a woman is into me, this is coming from a man, or mm-hmm. not, or just my money? How can you tell? I yeah. mean, I think that's can pretty I, obvious. Well, Yes. But I have to say, I don't know what it is or why, but gold diggers, oh, you know what? It's they because of the, the pandemic. If someone was not very financially stable before, you know, there it's even harder for them with the pandemic. So that is increasing the amount of gold diggers out there. Mm-hmm. So I know my guys in my program Mm -hmm. love the fact that the women pay too. So this way, they're not a gold digger. Right, because Maureen has a lot of clients that are financially stable. Actually, all her clients are financially stable. Or either just financially stable or Or more than that. Financially stable. Right, that's what I meant to say. So, what I wanted to ask you too is how important of a role does sex play? in these matchings like some men want to have sex five days a week some women want to have sex two days a week how do you match people up that way well i mean that is a part of compatibility compatibility as well because people do call up and they say i hope you don't think i'm addicted to sex but i do need to have sex every single day with Mm -hmm. my woman okay my first question is Are you looking for a committed relationship with a woman Mm -hmm. or are you looking for a different woman every night? And I say (laughs) it in a way that they don't know what my screening process is at that moment. So they're just going to tell me what the truth is because, well, because they don't know if I'm going to disqualify them. Mm -hmm. Not everyone knows that I don't take on everyone. I pass up thousands of dollars every week by saying to people, nope, bye. (laughs) 
I'm very theatrical about it. Little MTN over here. <laughs> Many times if we're working from the home office and she's there because her mom is our matchmaking manager, Trisha, mm-hmm. who's been with me for years. But, you know, I just love making it theatrical. I don't take on everyone. So the person calling in, when I'm asking a question, they don't know what I'm looking for in an answer. Okay, so they do tend to tell me what the truth is. So my answer to that is because it's very common nowadays to either it's everything in anything. Mm -hmm. Whereas those guys that you just mentioned as an example, I say, well, what are you looking for? A different woman every night Uh or the same woman in a committed relationship? So the guys that say the committed relationship, I will take them on and say, okay, you know, you don't have to do anything as far as like when you're at work, you know, <laughs> but it's three times a day. Hey, honey, it's my lunch hour. Get, get down here to work. Or maybe okay. they just have to manage right. their expectations. Well, yes. Well, that's an addiction, I would say, if it would were to come to that oh, level. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. So as long as it's a committed relationship, then I know how to match them appropriately to find mm-hmm. the right person. And then there are women that will call and say, you know what, I'm divorced, I'm in my 50s, I could care less if I ever have sex again. Uh Is it possible to meet a man that is going to be fine with that? And the question is, yeah, but Uh I'm just doing the compatibility so you don't waste the time with someone that you just have different sexual needs. Uh, right, so. right. And some women just want companionship, and I'm sure yeah. some men just want companionship. Right. So, again, as long as something is not an addiction, as long as it's that you're looking for the committed relationship and you're not hurting anyone, right, because that's it's just fine, an expectation. Whatever it is. Right, whatever it is. Or, as Joe said, our producer, it's yeah. a want or need. And most People have different wants of and course, needs. Yes, we all do. That, that is why I love what I do so much, because I never know what to expect. I never know what that next person I'm going to interview, what their life is about and their love story. That's my personal term of when I get to know a person and their mm. past. In my eyes, it's called their love story. Oh, that's beautiful. And then I have to prepare a plan of action for me to make their love story successful and happy. Now, mm-hmm. So I've, Maureen's writing I don't share that, the love story. by the way. Yes. Yeah, that's and very interesting. I don't tell people that I'm sharing it here. Uh-huh. Most I've people never don't even, actually heard you no, say that. because I, I, I do keep it private, but now that we're going to be having the boot camp, uh-huh. I am going to be sharing more and more little tidbits of what I do. She's writing my Hallmark love story yes. as we speak. So, <laughs> And unlike Hallmark, it's not going to be cheesy. It's going oh, to be no. reality. It is going to be real life, how to find love as easy as possible. That's it. Oh, my daughter and I watched the Brooke Shields. Did you see that? It's a new Hallmark movie. I never have time for oh, TV. So, and but, my daughter except said, Laura and Lauder. the protagonist <laughs> is too old. And I said, oh, God. that's very insulting. <laughs> you can find love at any age. <laughs> How so old? People, my kids would say 40. <laughs> <laughs> you can find love at any age. And you don't have to be Brooke Shields. But that's what MTN matchmaking is here for. <laughs> if you follow... My social media, which hopefully everyone does, depending upon the timing of it, you can always go back, obviously, and watch, you know, any day or what what have you. But today, Lauren is going to be doing our Friday Facebook Live with me. So sorry, Brian, you're out today. Brian, Brian you got the boot today, but <laughs> the never get the boot. Sorry, really. sorry, Brian. Because you're family. <laughs> but actually, Brian is... Um, 
you know, he works with me. And I have more responsibilities for Brian that I'm teaching him some more interesting things that are private, but he is really looking forward to it. So can we talk a little bit? I I have more questions to get to. But for all you women out there, because I'm going to say women, because I do believe that this is more of a stress on you looking towards, I call it the dreaded Valentine's Day. But after boot camp, that that's not going to be what I call it anymore. But that's right. Um, <laughs> Valentine's Day. It can be probably the most dreaded holiday of the year. If you allow your mind to say that out loud. But as Lauren knows, because I stop her now, the mm-hmm. moment she says something as she just did, <laughs> she I stops stop me her. in my tracks. So now your Valentine's Day is going to suck. Now turn that around and say, you know what? I'm going to have the best Valentine's Day I ever am, this year. Because I'm going to buy myself the most beautiful gift. and My I'm... boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that I'm going to have the best Valentine's Day because yep. I am taking Maureen's advice. And I'm not looking at it as a negative because right. I'm going into it with a positive yes. attitude. And women out there, if you're thinking the same way as I am, think positive. You can buy yourself something. You can take yourself out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Or there's the possibility of... Finding love, right? Yes, of course. Valentine's Day is just a day to exemplify love and to exaggerate it in a positive and to exude it from your whole body. But Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday as a matchmaker. And why do you say that, Maureen? Because so many people don't look at it that way. Right. And that's why they're single. Mm-hmm. Seriously, I believe if you. you're single and you've been single for a long time and you think you've been actively searching, you're just subconsciously in your own way. OK, you're making those roadblocks. So the boot camp or even just by the, hopefully listening to the radio show uh-huh. will help you be a better dater. Manifest so, destiny. Yeah. <laughs> I just said the word destiny, and we have a destiny yeah. in the house. But So it's... just think of how you react to things. Sometimes even test yourself on a scenario that you're in and how you feel at that moment and say it out loud and ask yourself, was that positive or is that self-defeating? Mm-hmm. And most likely, if you've been single for five years or more and you're actively searching yourself, you are self-sabotaging. So, but that's a good thing because we can fix that. Well, how do people self-sabotage? Is it by dating the wrong people, by picking the wrong people, or it's, by negative thinking? It's really all of those, okay? It's in the situation of meeting someone instead of looking for five great qualities about that person, it is analyzing them and thinking they don't have number 10, 11, and 12 on my real list. Uh No one should have more than five must-haves. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Brad Pitt or Jennifer Aniston. (laughs) That is my ultimate proof that I've been saying for years of how important compatibility is because we all know you need both chemistry and compatibility. So Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, obviously and clearly, they had chemistry. How could you not? They're both beautiful people. Right. But that's not enough. But it didn't last. But because it's not enough if you're not compatible. Uh-huh. So you have to really focus everyone, ladies, men, regardless of your age, if you're looking for a committed relationship, just start thinking about these things of what are your top five must-haves? And we all know that secretly we do have about 20, okay? Mm. We do. Secretly. Secretly. But the moment anything other than anything six and above pops into your head about a person that you're out on a date with, pop it out of your head as fast as it came in because you're doom the date is doomed well i explain that to me so if you meet someone and you have he meets three criteria but you have other things that you don't like about him is that what you're saying keep those things aside or don't magnify them what do you think what i'm saying is 
if you're going out with someone and they have your five must-haves. Okay. Okay, because they have to have your five. If they don't, it isn't going to work. And then you're not doing anything wrong. You're doing your part, which is all it takes. Just like when you want to lose weight, you mm. can't be having these huge <laughs> Starbucks like I am. So I am self-defeating in the that category. I admit it, though. Right. So you just have to be able to admit this. Mm-hmm. And you have to just realize if you are thinking of the things that that person doesn't have and it's not on your top five, you are subconsciously sub-sabotaging yourself because this way, when you look at that person, all of a sudden you're not nervous anymore, right? Uh-huh. You're looking at them thinking, I don't like them. You know, they're a nice person, but I really don't want to go out with them again. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you're not nervous, but you're not going to meet the right person now. Mm -hmm. That person could have been the right person. You've eliminated the possibility of success with that person. Right. All because of nerves. Because you are afraid of finding real love. Yes. And you have to be able to admit that. And that's probably the case with a lot of people. It, It. People do it all the time and they don't realize it. So it's my job, I believe, as a person who loves love and my whole life is about love, is to just not make those common mistakes because they're so common. I see people doing it all the time. But once you realize you're doing it, you can stop it. Is e- really, you can stop that much mm-hmm. easier than me stopping drinking Starbucks with extra caramel. That's much harder to stop than negative thinking. <laughs> uh, yes. So, and um, Maureen, you told me something that I was thinking about that you are going to try to find love this year. Blah blah blah. Okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen's very secretive about her love life. Well, I have to have some, you know, <laughs> private life. Come on. All right. So again with Valentine's Day. <laughs> see, I'm I'm good. I'm good at <laughs> overlooking these conversations when we have to. So we're not going to find out about Maureen's love life today. <laughs> nope. But we are going to do Facebook Live after this. Yes. And so I hope you watch. Our Friday Facebook Lives, they're always on my YouTube. And Joe, what's the best way for me to say to people to be able to watch my YouTube? To just subscribe to it? Okay, Mm -hmm. so just, it's MTN Matchmaking. Subscribe to it. It's free, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you can get dating tips on there. Yeah, there's all, every free dating tips, all of those things over the years. If you notice, it has been consistent over my 20 years, mm. thankfully. And it I really attribute that to my former profession as a former pharmaceutical rep where they really instilled human behavior and how to assess it. Mm-hmm. And then 20 years ago, just having the best mentor in the world teaching me everything about matchmaking Mm -hmm. and dating and for some reason it resonated so much in me i knew this was my calling Mm -hmm. since then and i literally literally eat drink and sleep love i believe it right little mtn (laughs) and even (laughs) though people Times have changed with the internet, and the internet has created such a crazy, frightening. It's scary, and the most frightening. I've been on the internet, and it's just horrifying in the world. But, um, but the one thing that doesn't really change over time is people and their actions and their beliefs and their Mm -hmm. core values. And I think that that's um, something that Maureen is always down to basics with, even if you. You know, if you're tired of the internet, I would definitely give MTN Matchmaking a call because I personally. Um, don't do any of the matchmaking sites anymore. Not the matchmaking sites, I'm sorry, the internet sites. Oh, and everyone, if you could please do me a favor. I have a new website, mtnmatchmaking.com, and I'm only going to make fun of it as a joke. So I say this, anytime I make fun of things, it's never in a mean, evil way. It's for fun, Mm -hmm. okay? But seriously, this was a blanking fortune fortune Mm -hmm. this website so can you please go to my new website mtnmatchmaking.com and please tell me that it is the best damn website you've ever seen because if it's not it cost me a fortune and i want it 
to be worth every penny. I was going to say, I think it's amazing. Oh, thank you. So please let me know, you know, the positives and the negatives, because I love improving every single day in every area of my life. So naturally, my website is a reflection of me. So Uh please look at it and tell me what you think. And let's say this all together, that we are going to have the best the best Valentine's, year ever. The best Valentine's yes. Day Happy ever. Happy early Valentine's Day. And think Day. about what you want to buy yourself and think about the love that you want to have, right? And all of my clients, if you want to know what to buy your matchmaker, if you don't know already, <laughs> I love this bling. She loves jewelry. Yes. And Maureen's giving me some I am a beautiful jewelry. jewelry. Whore. And let, let's get way. Destiny to come here and say goodbye to everybody because I think, are we out of time, Joe? So little we have MTN. A okay. Little MTN. Yeah, little MTN because people might not think you really are here, but she's here. Say, so, let's hear you um, speak. What do you think about taking over MTN matchmaking one day? I think it's something that I can do one day. Is that amazing? <laughs> That's amazing. She's 10 years old, brilliant, beautiful, adorable. She, and what smart. she said is it is something that she thinks. She wants to do. The power of positive thinking. Yes. Wait, I want to hear the question that you came up with for us. Oh, my God. We forgot. Yeah. Give us the question. I asked Destiny before. I was sharing with her that people write in questions. And Destiny came to me and said, you know what? Aunt Maureen, Auntie M. Do you want to say it yourself? Go ahead. Um, Like, why don't you ask about, read your most asked uh, questions and answer them. Yes. So maybe we'll do that as a whole show next week. Yes. Most. So next week we will do that. The top 10 questions that people ask me over and over. When Destiny said that to me, I mm-hmm. thought, oh my God, my little MTN is just like her. And she's only 10 years and, old. I know. She's a little me. I just <laughs> love her to death. Well, so, okay. Thank well, you everyone for listening. Thank you. I'm we'll Lauren DeFranco. Maureen Tara Nelson. Have a great day and a great week.